everyone, now I know you're expecting a weekly vlog today, that's actually going to be uploaded on Thursday this week because today's video is pretty special. I was invited to the Burberry Fashion Show at London Fashion Week this year which is so exciting. For me it's tomorrow but when you watch this it would have already been yesterday. So right now it's Sunday and this morning I went to Burberry HQ to have a sneak peek of the makeup look that they're going to be wearing on the catwalk tomorrow. For me Fashion Week is all about the beauty and the makeup so it was really exciting to be able to go and meet Wendy Rowe herself which is insane and she kind of talked us through the makeup look that's going to be part of their autumn winter catwalk. So let's rewind to this morning when I went off to Burberry HQ. Right I'm ready I just need to grab some breakfast then I'm going to head to Burberry HQ. I'm very excited but I'm a bit nervous it's Sunday so I don't really want to dress up but I'm meeting some pretty important people today so I want to look nice. I'm going to put on like a nice lipstick I think and then I'm gonna go to Burberry HQ and I'm so excited to meet Wendy Rowe and see all the makeup. This is a pretty exciting Sunday I'd say. My friend Ruth from A Model Recommends is gonna be there as well today and I'm really excited to see her and her baby bump. So cute that she is having a little baby. Okay so I'm here, I'm really early but it looks incredible so I'm gonna go in. Ruth's here and she brought a plus one. When we got in the room there was only about six of us, there were bloggers from Asia and America and then there was myself and Ruth and we sat there kind of in awe of Wendy while she talked through the makeup look which they'd only decided about an hour before. She showed us on this beautiful model how the makeup look was going to look and how she created it and it was just amazing to be able to watch her work and she is a fantastic makeup artist. She also tried it out on me and colour matched me with the right foundation and I can't believe she did my makeup, it was very exciting. And then I came back here. Okay, I'm makeup free. I'm ready. So yes, as you can see, I am wearing the makeup. I came home and I wanted to recreate the look for you guys to show you how it's done. It is a pretty wearable look actually. Most makeup for Fashion Week is kind of crazy catwalk. But I think this one's definitely wearable, if not adaptable to like an everyday look or an evening look. So I'm going to talk you through the makeup look that Wendy created. There's a few changes here and there but I'll talk you through it step by step. The theme she was working with is patchwork, prints and patterns because that's what the collection for autumn winter for Burberry is. The clothes are luxurious but also wearable and effortless and she wanted the makeup to reflect that. She wanted a really worn in, lived in makeup look. So the first product she used is the Golden Radiance. This is like a tinted primer. It just warms up the face a little bit. It feels really nice and fresh on the skin and although it looks quite scary and dark, it really doesn't come out that dark. It's very easy to spread with your hands, feels great on the skin and just adds that little bit of warmth. So Wendy, like most makeup artists, did the eyes first because then it gives you time to kind of clean up before you perfect the skin. She started with the Effortless Coal Eyeliner in black. And I'm pretty scared of black eyeliner, but she made it very unscary. So she started by just lining the upper lash line, pretty close to the lashes actually. And as she went along, she was blending with both a brush and her finger. I think when you blend with a brush it's easier to make less of a mess but I really like the effect when you use your finger. It really smudges it out and makes it kind of less intense and more smudgy. She also took the eyeliner underneath the eye and she said not to be too afraid of kind of going too thick under the eye. That's what really gives it that lived in look and it's so so pretty. Once you blend it out, keep blending with your finger and your brush. It does take a while to get there but when you do it looks really cool. So Burberry have some new cream eyeshadows coming out around April, May and that's what Wendy used for this look. She used a sort of black and grey cream shadow along with a it was a sort of beigey colour, but these products are so, so brand new and they have so few, they needed to save them all for the show, so unfortunately I couldn't use one for this look. So instead, Wendy showed me a pretty cool trick actually that I think you could use for quite a few different colours. She said to mix together their Nude Radiance, which if you have at home any sort of moisturiser or radiant primer, you can use that, and mix it with um, just a black powder eyeshadow. This is one of their powder eyeshadows, it's just the black one. So I put a bit of both on the back of my hand and just mixed them together using my finger and I actually think that's a really cool way of making a cream eyeshadow. You can do that with any colour. I'm pretty sure you can use any sort of moisturising product. And then I just started smudging that straight onto the lid. So Wendy used a cream shadow but the effect is very similar. This version that I'm doing is slightly more sheer but you just keep building up as much as you want with your finger. You can also use a flat brush and keep smudging it in and then I like to blend the edges out with a clean finger or a clean brush. This whole look is very easy to use your hands and fingers actually, which I really like. You want the black to be quite intense but not kind of opaque, still really smudged out and wearable. Wendy used the sort of mink cream eyeshadow shade just in the crease just to blend out the edges. The next step that Wendy did was she used a green eyeliner and she used this in the waterline. I thought this was really cool 
cool because I've mentioned before that I can't really wear black liner in my waterline because it makes my eyes just go too small. And she said wearing a green is still a kind of smoky eye option without it being too intense like a black. So I thought this was really cool. Unfortunately, I don't have a green eyeliner with me, but instead I used their khaki eyeshadow, which is just a green powder shadow. And I just smudged some of that under the lash line and it gives that sort of green tint mixed in with the black. And I think it's really nice. She said she used green because it suits pretty much all eye colors. It's a really complimentary color and it's perfect for autumn winter. Okay, so now onto mascara. And I also thought this was pretty interesting how she did the mascara. I feel like I learned so much just being with her for like half an hour. With the mascara, she didn't kind of apply it like you would a normal mascara. She just took the brush and pressed it onto the root of the lashes. So she didn't stroke it all the way through to the ends. She just pressed it onto the roots. And I thought that was a pretty cool trick as well. She also pressed it onto the bottom lashes and it still gives kind of natural lashes. She didn't want long lashes that you could kind of see when you open your eyes because she didn't want it to distract from what was on the lid. And I think this looks really nice. Obviously you probably need quite long curly lashes to do this. But if you're doing it at home you can apply your mascara just like you usually would. Okay so the eyes are pretty much done and along the way or at the end you can clean up using a cotton bud. These things are pretty handy. Just wipe along where you need to go but nothing's going to look perfect until you do the skin so don't worry too much about that. Wendy started with concealing and highlighting before she did the foundation. So I'm gonna copy what she did because I'm trying to recreate the look. The first concealer she used is number three, Rosy Beige. And this is a really quite pinky apricot toned concealer, which means it's perfect for any dark circles. So I just apply it in the inner part under my eye and slightly on the outer part. The pink tones for it will really cancel out any blues and purples that you tend to find under your eye if you have dark circles. It's a really brightening concealer, so you can either blend that out with your fingers or with a brush. It's very easy to blend either way. And then using the number two concealer, she used this as a highlight slash concealer. So on the tops of the cheekbones, down the nose, cupid's bow, chin, around the nose, Anywhere you want to highlight or conceal and just blend that out. It's so easy to blend. I used a brush. You can use your fingers as well. It's a really nice concealer. I've actually never tried Burberry concealers and I was really impressed with these. Okay, so now onto foundation and Wendy hardly used any foundation. I mean, the model really didn't need any, but for this look, she said just apply it where you need it and not all over. She used the Fresh Glow foundation, which I already have in beige. It's one of my favorite foundations that I've spoken about a lot. And I just applied a really sheer amount of the foundation just where I needed it. Actually, I'm glad I did that because I always put too much on and I really don't need it so I just applied it where I do need it and kind of buffed it out and it makes the skin look so nice. I really love this foundation. I usually leave lipstick till last but I'm going to copy Wendy. She did lipstick next. Burberry have a whole range of nude lipsticks coming out in March and they say that there's a nude for everyone including darker skin tones. This one is shade number one and I think this is the one they're going to use on most of the models. It's very very nude. Pretty nude for me but I just applied one coat and then dabbed it in with my finger. These lipsticks are pretty versatile. One coat is quite sheer, two is more buildable and you can really make it quite opaque if you want to. So I just sort of dab that into the lips just to nude them out a bit. And then next up she did blusher. This shade is called earthy blush and in the pan it really looks quite pale. And I didn't think this was going to do anything, but she contoured with this. So I gave it a go and actually it gives a really nice contour. It shows up darker on the skin than it looks in the pan and it's a really pretty neutral blush. It, it's not too pink. It's great for those days where you don't want pink blush, but you do need some kind of definition. I really, really like this blush actually and I think it would be great for paler skin tones as well. She used this as a contour on the cheekbones, but also down the nose and under the chin as well. To finish up, if you need it, Wendy used a blotting powder. She said the most important place to use this is around the nose, no one wants to be shiny there, and slightly in the middle of the brows. So if you do get shiny, then blotting powder is your last step. So that's the makeup look for the Burberry Autumn Winter 15 show, and I hope I did Wendy proud. I did my best. I actually think it's a really nice look. I've wanted to try a kind of deep smoky eye like this for a long time, and she really made it much easier for me to understand how to create it. I am so excited for the Burberry show tomorrow. I'm sure I'm going to be tweeting and Instagramming, so if you haven't yet seen that, go check out my accounts. I will link them down below. And I hope you guys found this interesting. Let me know what you think of the finished look. Be nice, it was my first attempt. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys on Thursday for my weekly vlog. Bye.